After finishing last season with a heartbreaking finish in the International Classic 200, Dave Schillick Jr. had all winter long to prepare for his assault on the Steel Palace in 2017. The goal for Schulich to win his first ever non-wing supermodified event at Oswego Speedway and contend for the Oswego Speedway Championship. 67th opening night could not have come any sooner for the team to coach her number two of Schulich. Teammate and chief mechanic on both team to coach entries, Otto Sitterly, would bring the field to the green flag with Schulich right behind in third and Michael Barnes jumping out to the early lead. A hard crash for Joe Gosick in turn one would set up a restart with Barnes leading Schulich to the green flag on lap 44. Schulich was able to make the pass for the lead into turn one with teammate Sitterly not far behind. There was no looking back the remaining handful of laps and Dave Schulich Jr. was able to claim his first ever non-wing supermodified victory at Oswego Speedway. Much like opening week, the 75-lap super spectacle would see Schulich start right behind his Nakocha teammate Otto Sitterly, but this week he would start from the 10th spot. A very close call on lap 26 when a spinning Lulave Jr. appeared directly in front of both team Nakocha cars exiting turn two. Front wing damage on the leader Champagne would allow Schulich to catch and make the pass for the lead on lap 54. Another handful of laps later it was Schulich who began to show signs of smoke off his number two in the closing laps. Although the track officials were unable to see any possible problems, the number two began showering sparks and brought the car into the pit, surrendering the lead after establishing a huge four second advantage. Schulich will grab his first DNF of the year, finishing nine laps down in 10th, a definite blow to his championship hopes. Next up were Twin 35s for the Novella Super Modifieds to welcome the month of June. The first Twin 35 started off with a bang as the field exited turn two down the backstretch. The number 50 of David Grohl got out of shape and sparked off a major pileup. Luckily, Schulich was out in front of the action but would have to wait until later in the night to resume racing. Schulich was able to close in over the final laps but would settle for a second in the first Twin 35. The second Twin 35 would find Schulich emerge from his fifth place starting spot to second after Joey Payne and Michael Barnes tangled just ahead on lap three. A handful of laps after the next restart, Schulich would pass Joe Gosick to take over the lead. Schulich was able to celebrate another historic achievement with his victory in the Grand Prix 75 on July 1st, when in the same event his father captured some 35 years prior. Fireworks on the track were sparked up when Schulich and Brandon Bellinger made contact a few weeks later while battling hard for the runner-up spot. Gremlins would continue to plague the number 01 of Danny Connors late in the race, which handed another victory to Schulich. With the points picture really starting to take shape with three events slated for August, Dave Schulich Jr. would be kept out of victory lane to start the month. A moment of deja vu as Schulich and Bellinger would battle for the lead on August 12th, just one month after their dust-up in turn one. The track championship finale would see Schulich with a commanding 52 and a half point lead to begin the night, which would only require the number two to start the feature to wrap up the 2017 Novella Super Modified Championship. Schulich would roll off eighth in the final 50 lapper of the season. Schulich was not willing to let up on the final night as he moved through the pack in search of another podium finish. The shoot two was able to do something his father never did, win an Oswego Speedway Championship, becoming the first Ohio driver to do so since Todd Gibson back in 1968. Dave Schulich Jr. has now managed to win every major championship in supermodified racing, including ISMA, MSA, and Oswego Speedway titles. Schulich was able to claim his first ever non-wing victory, along with three other wins for a total of four for the season, plus nine top five finishes and 10 top tens to cap off a storybook season for the Ohio native. Congratulations to the driver of the Nakotra Racing number two, Dave Schulich Jr.